Welcome to the lecture Oscillators of Peak 18F Microcontroller. In Peak 18F Microcontroller series, there are eight different oscillators modes, and these oscillator modes are programmable by three bits of configuration one register. The eight different modes are LP oscillator with low power crystal, XT oscillator, crystal or resonator, HS high speed crystal resonator oscillator, HS4 high speed crystal resonator with PLL enabled, RC external resistor capacitor oscillator, RCIO external resistor capacitor with IO pin enabled, EC external clock, and ECIO external clock with IO pin enabled. We will discuss one by one about all these eight types of oscillator options available in PK18 microcontroller. The first type of oscillator is uh, crystal oscillator. So three different oscillator configurations are available with external crystal oscillator. So these are XT, LP or HS with crystal or resonator. So this crystal or resonator is connected uh, between these two pins of this microcontroller oscillator 1 pin and oscillator 2 pin. So here external crystal we have to connect that is XTAL crystal. This two capacitors should be connected C1 and C2 to reduce the noise. This is the series resistor and this is feedback resistor. So two, three types of this oscillator configurations where this external crystal uh, can be connected and this oscillator configuration is used to generate a clock signal. This value of RL uh, is depends upon the crystal, what type of, what frequency crystal we are uh, selecting. And the RS register is generally required in HS mode uh, as well as in XT mode. This is used to avoid overdriving crystals with low drive level specifications. The capacitance values are depends upon the frequency value of this uh, crystal. Now what is HS mode? This HS stands for high speed mode and it is designed with the crystals and resonators with a frequency of 3 to 4 megahertz or more. This oscillator provides highest drive level that is available. The XT modes stand for crystal mode and will provide a medium drive level. It is, uh, it is designed to use with crystals and resonators of 1 to about 4 megahertz. The XT mode has moderate power consumption since its drive level is lower than that of HS mode and because of low clock speed. Faster the clock use, the more current the application will require. The lowest power mode is LP mode. So it is stand for low power mode. This mode is useful for circuits that require the lowest power possible. It gives a frequency uh, up to 32.76 Hz kilohertz. So it generates a lower frequency. It is ideal for timing sensitive application since the same crystals are used as a time base. So these are the three different modes of crystal and in this simplest mode the external crystal is connected between oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 terminal. The next mode of uh, this oscillator is RC external resistor capacitor oscillator. For timing insensitive applications, the RC or RCIO device options 
offer additional cost saving. RC oscillator frequency is a function of supply voltage. Uh, the resistor, external resistor REXT and the capacitor RC, uh, sorry, capacitor CEXT. It also depends upon operating temperature. The oscillator frequency will vary from unit to unit due to normal process parameter variation. The difference in lead frame capacitance between package times will also affect the oscillator frequency for low values of CEXT. So whenever we use this, we have to consider tolerance of external R and C components which we are going to use. In this oscillator 2 is used as a oscillator by 4. So here at oscillator 2 terminal, we get a frequency uh, divided by 4. And this frequency can be used for test purpose are to synchronize other logic. The recommended values for REXT are between greater than 3 kilo ohms or less than or equal to 100 kilo ohm and the value of external capacitor should be greater than 20 picofarad. So in this type of oscillator, at oscillator 1 terminal, external R and C are connected and oscillator 2 terminal, the oscillator frequency divided by 4 clock is available which we can use for testing or we can connect it to other circuit. The next option is RCIO that is external resistor capacitor but here difference is that Oscillator 2 pin can be used as a I.O. pin. So port A pin number 6 can be used as a I.O. pin that is oscillator 2 pin. So here frequency is not available at oscillator 2 pin whereas this pin we can use as a I.O. pin. And same oscillator 1 pin is used to connect external resistor and external capacitor. So this RC oscillator will generate a uh, frequency. Next is external clock input that is EC oscillator circuit. This EC oscillator requires external clock source that should be connected to oscillator 1 pin. So that is shown here, the clock from external system is connected to oscillator uh, 1 pin that is simple EC configuration. The feedback device between oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 is turned off in this mode to save the current. There is no oscillator startup time required after a power on reset or after a recovery from sleep mode. Now here the oscillator frequency is divided by 4 and that is available at oscillator 2 terminal. So same this signal we can use for test purpose or to synchronize other devices. The next oscillator mode is ECIO external clock with IO pin enabled. In this mode, the same external clock signal is connected to oscillator 1 terminal, but at oscillator 2 terminal, the frequency divided by 4 option is not available, whereas this pin, oscillator 2 pin, we can use as a IO pin and that is 6 pin of port A called as a RA6 pin. The next oscillator option is HS4 high speed crystal resonator with PLL enable. So here phase lock loop circuit is used as a programmable option for user and if you want to multiply the input crystal frequency by 4 
then we can use this PLL circuit. So it will increase the input frequency by 4. So for example, suppose input clock frequency is of 10 megahertz, then internal circuit will multiply it by 4 and will get an output frequency of 40 megahertz. This is useful for user who are concerned with EMI due to high frequency crystal. This PLL can only be enabled when oscillator configuration bits are programmed for HS mode. So PLL mode is used for HS and that's why it is called uh, HS4 mode. If they are programmed for any other mode, then PLL is not available. That is for LP mode or XP mode. And the system clock in that case will come directly from oscillator 1. The PLL lock timer is used to ensure that PLL has locked before device execution starts. This is the internal block diagram of this PLL configuration. So here external crystal is connected between oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 terminal. HS modes should be enabled and this is the PLL. So PLL has this filter, loop filter, voltage control oscillator and feedback is by divided by 4. So input frequency will be locked by this feedback frequency and will get here output signal that is uh, input frequency, crystal frequency multiplied by 4. When configuration register, we have to use this two bits and that should be set with 110. So this is about the PLL uh, frequency generator. So these are the all eight different configurations available in peak microcontroller which, can, which we can use to generate a crystal frequency uh, depends upon application and value of the frequency we require. Now there is one resistor that is configuration uh, 1H resistor which is used to configure the different crystal modes. So this is 8 bit resistor. This bit oscillator enable bit is used to enable the oscillator option. So if it is 1 oscillator system clock switch option is disabled but if it is zero then oscillator clock switch option is enabled that means we can switch uh, oscillators from one option to uh, another option if it is disabled then main oscillator is the source the other bits are not used but these three bits F oscillator 0, F oscillator 1 and F oscillator 2. These bits are used for selection of this different 8 uh, oscillator configuration. So to select this LP oscillator that is low X oscillator frequency configuration we have to store here 000 for XT 001 for HS010. These are the three simple external oscillation configuration. Then for external RC oscillator, we have to store here 011. Then EC oscillator, then EC oscillator, uh, where oscillator 2 is used as a divide by 4 clock output, 100 should be stored external clock EC oscillator where oscillator 2 is configured as IO port pin RA6 101 and 110 is for HS oscillator with PLL enable that is SH4 oscillator the frequency is multiplied by 4 and 111 is for RC oscillator the oscillator 2 uh, terminal is configured as RA6 so these are all eight configuration available in this particular version of peak microcontroller peak 18f